Hey Cinema Peeps, welcome back to another Talkie Tuesday. Hey, hey Cinema Peeps! Hey Cinema Peeps, welcome to another episode of Talkie Tuesday. I swear I'm not dying yet. <laughs> so just have that, oh, death. <laughs> right? Until dawn. Until that, dawn. That's what it is, yep. <laughs> Hey, cinema peeps. Hey, cinema peeps. <laughs> yeah, I sound great. Yeah. Being sick is fun. Right. Although yesterday I had more of like the raspier voice. Oh, really? So I sounded more like sultry. <laughs> like you're more Sean Connery? <laughs> yeah, or I'm one of those girls that's like, hey hotties close to your neighborhood call now to talk to local hotties in your neighborhood and like you're like okay voice. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know because well i don't know about everybody else but pa- apparently this is sick week for a lot of people i i know mm-hmm. you and and zena get well zena <laughs> and like katie lost lost her voice too i'm mm-hmm. assuming more from like the con that she was at than sickness mm-hmm. but still it's just been a week of people losing their voices and just sickness and i mean allergy seasons among us too it's it's mm-hmm. all the germs and all the fun times <laughs> right and i was like oh i'll go out for a little walk with the dogs it'll be fine and then it rained and then it snowed <laughs> i was like this is some kind of awful punishment that i uh... feel i don't deserve <laughs> Well, uh, if you if you follow along with astrology, apparently Mercury is in retrograde or in Gatorade, as one of my friends likes Gatorade! to say. Gatorade, Gatorade, <laughs> hell yeah, so, it is. I I blame it on that. <laughs> mm. The world is in the upside down at the moment, and so we're just hanging out with all the dust and the particles and the demogorgons yeah. and the everything. So. Just take me, Demogorgon. Not worth it. <laughs> I don't even think that. The Demogorgon would be like, oh, hell no. This reeks of death. I ain't eating that. Mm, no, I choose thank life. You. <laughs> yeah, right? He's like, no, thank you. Well, at least I took the time and now I'm all caught up on Flash. Yeah. <laughs> I just oh laid my on my gosh. couch and I was like, I'll just watch. I mean, I calculated. I guess I was about 11 and a half episodes behind. Wow. Which seems like a lot. I mean, it is a lot, mm-hmm. you know. It's half but, a season. Right? Yeah. But, like, once you get going, and then I'm like, fuck yeah. Another, 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 another. DJ Khaled, Please another one. Another. Mm-hmm. <laughs> another one. Another one. So I caught up pretty quickly. I think it only took me two-ish days. Two-ish. Yep, yeah, two-ish days, yeah. Nice. Now I'm all caught up, baby. Yeah, woohoo. All caught up with that flash. All right, well give me your thoughts let's hear some, uh, some thoughts from you about this uh this yeah se- season up till now armageddon it's pretty yep. solid yeah the crisis uh crossover mm-hmm. although as i said i was because i was behind i was trying not to get like spoilers and stuff like that but like it's hard not to so I knew when he, um, when Barry would go back in time, it would all be different and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I can't, I don't know if I knew for sure it was going to be Thawne or not, but I was like, well, makes sense. Yeah. He's the most evilest of them all. Right. And then after Armageddon, they did that fun episode with Nora and Bart that I enjoyed. That one was good. Yeah. Um, and now we've just uh, destroyed Deathstorm. And now Killer Frost is dead. Yes. Rest Which again, Killer Frost. I, I got the vibe that somebody was dying because I remember Danielle was posting like, what do you guys think of the latest episode? And I was like, hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not a detective, but. <laughs> I sense a mystery. I'm sensing something. <laughs> <laughs> There's a murder. Right. And like on one hand, like, I don't know, like it kind of sucks, but mm-hmm. I feel at the same time it's probably like, I don't want to pull double duty anymore. And yeah. that's absolutely fair. Well, play two characters. See, that's what everybody was speculating. And I'm sure there's some truth to that. Um, mm-hmm. But she did post a podcast episode. Uh, I guess there's like an official flash 
podcast. That, oh hell um, yeah! Yeah, right. And this guy. Oh, I've not heard of this. Oh, it's pretty good actually. I listened to the episode, but he's had a couple of the uh, showrunners, couple of the cast members. Mm-hmm on it recently and so danielle happened to be the most recent one and she was just Mm kind of like talking about her experience playing killer frost and like why why like why kill her kind of thing and i guess most of it was not her decision it was the Mm. showrunner's decision right and she says like it was challenging to play both characters but she enjoyed doing it and in her mind Mm -hmm. she figured at some point they were actually going to merge back into one body oh. and then that didn't end up happening so right it just, yeah so for me it was it was a real shock because i just didn't expect that that's where they were going to go with her character considering mm-hmm. you know it seemed like she and and there was or there was it seemed like there was more to uncover with like her and chill blaine Mm-hmm. And there was more to uncover with her relationship with Caitlyn. And it looked like Caitlyn was finally starting to kind of like, you know, move on with her life and, st- you know, s- date and all right. those kinds of things. Like we hadn't seen that part of her yet. And <clears throat> so this just kind of seemed a little like, whoa, <laughs> OK, <Right>. what? <laughs> and again, like, I mean, I love me some Robbie Amell. So, oh, yeah. you know, I was very happy to see him again. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's Hmm. I think this fire thing's evil. No, guys, you should trust me. I don't know. Every sign is saying no. But you guys. <coughs> oh, guys, wait. He is evil. Hold up. You were totally right. And Cecile being like, wow, I can't believe my powers are so wrong. No, you're not. Like, like that was like really frustrating. Yeah. You know, because then it's like, ugh. it's like you guys have learned this lesson so many times i don't understand yeah why why are we repeating ourselves (laughs) right yeah and i mean i also felt like it was a little bit of a backward step for caitlin's character Mm -hmm. right because you were saying like she's trying to move on yeah so to have him kind of come back all of a sudden and then she immediately like reverts to be like i'm gonna save him even yeah. though I know there's definitely been like heartfelt moments with like her and Cisco and her trying to move on and, you know, uh, figure out what that is for her. Mm-hmm. Whether that be that she finds, you know, like a love interest in the show or not, you know, it. So, like, just having it happen again, I was like, oh my God, just rolled my eyes. Yeah. But I will say, I did like Death Storm's look, mm-hmm. I thought it was great. And I um, immediately looked it up in the comics. I and mean, it is, like, pretty... Um, Spot on. Yeah, and it looks great. Nice. But, Jesus, my God. I When he has that scene with Caitlyn where he's like, I want you to be my death bride, my eyes rolled so hard to the back of my skull. <laughs> and then... I think it was later that episode, or maybe it was the next one, and like killer, and they keep cutting to Killer Frost's like face when Caitlin's like, "Yeah, he wants me to become his death bride," and she's just like, <laughs> and I was like, "That's exactly the face I made." I was like, "What <laughs> the fuck?" Right? Y- yeah, wankers. <laughs> yeah, wankers. Yeah, wankers. I kind of wish that like, and it's interesting because they were going with this whole idea that his power was based on grief. And feeding even off the tiniest bits of grief that Mm -hmm. you have in your life. So, I don't know. I think it would have been better and maybe not as, like, cliche if, like, this was Caitlyn's, like, final hurdle. Mm -hmm. So instead of, like, having this stupid interaction where it's like, this is clearly a bad idea. No, guys, you're wrong. See, I was right. Lol, what? He evil? I, I didn't see that coming. And it's like everyone saw it coming, girl. Right. Everybody right? saw that coming. You know, instead of doing that, like, you know, something where it's not that cliche, but that she could still deal with the grief of Ronnie. And that would be like the final um, resting place, like the final thing where maybe closure. Like, yeah, where she doesn't ver- verge him into human form. But maybe, like, you know, she finds a way to kill him instead of losing Frost, but... Yeah. Again, that's up to the showrunners and stuff like that. 
Yeah. I, yeah. I, I got, cause like Zena and I were saying when we were watching this too, like she, cause this has been a few episodes that this has kind of been leading up to for them. So mm-hmm. she's like, is he like this season's big bad? Like what's, what, where are they going with this? Cause like, we're, right. We're taking up a few episodes, which is great. Like you said, any chance mm-hmm. to, you know, see uh, Robbie Amell back on the show is awesome. And I'm glad right. that he was able to come back from like, he has a bigger part in it than just like a small cameo here. That, that's mm-hmm. kind of what I was thinking was going to happen, but I'm glad that he right. had like more of a bigger role to play. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like now that it's over, like is he still like is, is he the main villain this season? Like it just, it, I just feel like the last couple of seasons since uh, the Mirror Master season, uh, it's just mm-hmm. kind of been like a conglomeration of like mini episodes or mini right. like mini adventures in each episode. It's instead of like in the past seasons, what's been so like. I don't know, like iconic or just so memorable about them at least is just that it's the whole season's been this buildup of like learning about this villain. Mm -hmm. How do we defeat him? How can we become stronger as a team in order to like fix this and like all the little things in between that he's wreaking havoc on. So I was like, yeah, again, I don't know where we like we're still halfway into the season. There's still tons of stuff to go. Clearly, there's some big surprise thing that's happening at the end of the finale. So Mm -hmm. this is just based off of what I know now you know right why couldn't this have been like stretched out for throughout the season more right maybe we could have gotten a little bit more uh played around with like caitlin's whole uh struggle and what she was dealing with and stuff like Mm -hmm. that but like you said it's up to the showrunners right right okay also when (laughs) i think i said this early on too when the crossover or the armageddon Mm -hmm. um arc was happening and they were like wow we're really leveling up and i was like jesus if I hear that again, I'm going to stab my eyeball. <laughs> I think I even sent you a snap. I was like, you I'm going to stab myself in the eyeball. And literally, one episode later, they said it. And I was going to reach my, for my phone and be like, oops, stab my eyeball. But I left it in my room charging. And I was like, ah, the moment's gone. You're like, no. It's like, ah, it's past. I just, ah. I know that's just like very typical writing and you know and that's whatever yeah whatever but i mean maybe they're just trying to um i'm sorry <coughs> mm. death is coming for me <laughs> it's coming so quickly um was my thought right because yeah in previous right it's always been about yes there is a overarching villain and then there's kind of like filler episode like some episodes are like more dedicated to de- going after the villain or it's like uh oh we have to actually do superhero stuff mm-hmm. but like the store like the main story is still happening in the background yeah and stuff like that yeah but maybe they're trying to switch or level up this time <laughs> um <laughs> and try doing like smaller like arc stories within a season Mm -hmm. which i mean like wouldn't be awful no but yeah it's something like maybe we're just not used to i guess yeah and then that would give a better opportunity to have people come on the show and stay longer or at least be so it's yeah not just like this brief cameo you can they can come a couple times to tell the story yeah i guess i guess it does make it harder to kind of string all together right yeah I guess it's more just because I feel like, like I I just feel like we we had more of a deeper connection with Team Flash in the previous seasons. Like Mm. we we were given more time to like delve into these characters and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And whereas I feel like the characters on the show now, we do know a little about them, but it just seems like they. the, the best way I can put it is, is like we've just placed them there for certain lines and for certain uses, but there there's no dynamic between them. They mm. tried to do something between like Chester and uh, Allegra, but I just I like every I don't know. It's weird. It's just like, OK, now's the part where Cecile's going to like her eyes are going to go really wide and she's going to sense somebody's emotions about something. And that's her. That's her ad to the team kind of thing, right? She's no she's no other use. There's no Oh other my god, guys. Someone's really horny in here. It's really <laughs> weird. Like, oh my god. Right? And is... then like like the, the episode's really heavy and oh, guess what? Surprise, surprise. Here comes Joe to give his fatherly advice. Like it's there, there's just yeah. like it's like everyone just has their moment to come in. It's not like here as a team, here's how we work together like like it, and like I just miss those like moments of banter between like Cisco and 
and uh and wells and stuff like that mm-hmm. or like barry and like somebody like there was just those moments that really were what made everything yeah. else kind of you know really entertaining and stuff like that now is this time it just seems more f- like a formula if you know what i mean <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I mean, I guess to be fair, even the early episodes had a formula, but obviously they tweaked it and whatnot to kind of, mm-hmm. you know, figure craft it to be like, this is the Flash. But yeah, it, it now that you say that, yeah, there is like moments where it's like, oh, is it time for emotion time? Better get Cecile in there. Time for the awkward, uh, they're not, are they or are they going to kiss? Chester P and Allegra. Yeah, exactly, right? And I I try really hard not to let that be what is the main focus when I watch the mm-hmm. series, but sometimes it's hard when you're you're like you're trying to find the story arc that's happening, you're you know trying to kind of get a grasp on where the team's going or the story's going and stuff mm-hmm. like that and it just seems like like when it when it gets to the point where I don't remember what episode like like what episode things happened in because it feels like they've all right. been the same based off of how the, mm-hmm. you know the dialogue's gone or just like the scenes and stuff like yeah. that like they all kind of play the same way it's hard to like yeah i don't know i, I don't want to like start shitting on it and stuff like that but that's just kind of how i felt this last I'm season kidding. with everything and so i'm just kind of like where are we going with this you know yeah and again um going back to this idea like i like the idea of like obviously i'm again not gonna say no to rubby ml coming back yeah But they did shoot, like, this, um, I guess, like, you know, past event where him and Caitlin are trying to go on a little weekend getaway, but the snow hits. And literally, he says a line being like, "Um, well, we don't have to be stuck in the past. We can create our new future. And I'm just like, oh, my God, girl, like, I've never seen something more of, like, you know, like, those guys that direct airplanes. Mm Mm-hmm. Like that to me is like when pe- when they when writers do shit like that, it's like the equivalent of that. Where yeah. They're like, all right, so here's where the story's going. Like it's not subtle whatsoever. And they're yeah. just like, yep, yep. See, she's gonna learn this. But no way, like she didn't. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. It's just like I, again, I liked the idea, but I feel like it, like some things, like if they like were just like wrote it a little bit different like i said if they didn't have that same ass scenario they have every fucking time where they're like no guys i think he's good brah nah he's like really evil Mm -hmm. he's my husband barry what do you think i really think we should just kill him like he's clearly evil Mm -hmm. like i see no reason not to trust him well we always follow you barry and iris you never listen to us (laughs) <laughs> and it's like oh my god guys <laughs> every fucking time and then it's like surprise like i said earlier surprise he's good see guys i was right and cecile who like again the pilot the uh guy of the story being like what my powers were so wrong yeah <laughs> no of course your powers weren't wrong girl you were totally right yeah but, so if they if they relied less on that and then yeah just like built more onto that like yeah but again maybe it's just because the momentum was going like i had a great time i love seeing sue again her face mm-hmm. cracks me up right just like her seeing eddie again too like props oh. to the actor who plays eddie he's like in that particular episode he creeped me the hell out <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> i was like oscar oh my little iris until she feels better yeah and then there's just sue yeah why is there a hot blonde in your kitchen (laughs) oh yeah and i guess i guess really i guess the overarching theme is whatever this time sickness is for Mm -hmm. iris is gonna be which again (laughs) was one of those weird story things where she's like i'm going to coastal city why uh i don't know i heard there's some metas there i go help them okay when i think it's just an excuse for them not to be in the same room but sure whatever right um, and then we learned about character who I already forgot, Shadow Cat. That's not her name, but you know, very similar to the X Men, Kitty Pride, who can go through walls. I already forgot her name. Oh yeah, uh, <coughs> Tinya or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, just a like you know they find their mom, but then the time sickness gets rid of her, and then she makes Iris disappear, but then she reappears, 
And I'm like, what is the point of any of this? And then, I mean, I really enjoyed that shot of the office where the adoption lady was like, I need a break. And then she walks out and you're like, we're really sitting on this shot for a while. And then she comes back and everything's gone. Mm -hmm. Thought that was great. Yeah. But it's also like, what is the point? Right. <laughs> like, like you said, like, where is this going? What is the point of anything? Right. But we shall see. But I mean, they have been renewed for another season. So <laughs> which apparently is going to be a short season. Like there's not as many mm. episodes. So and supposedly, like Danielle was saying in the in the podcast I listened to, that even this season wasn't supposed to go as long as it did. They uh, they got extended like five more episodes or something like that. So mm. in 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 hearing that, like just kind of like from the horse's mouth, essentially, just like the the cast themselves hearing right. like things like, oh, this this showrunner who's running the show currently has stepped in recently. He hasn't been the showrunner this entire time. So that makes sense uh, as to why the vibes kind of changed on the show. Also, he's mm -hmm. drawing way more on the comics than the original mm. uh, part of the series, which, again, also makes sense. And it sounds like he's also kind of playing around with, which is quite obvious if you kind of pick up on that, playing around with elements of horror in these last, few, last couple of seasons. He really wants yeah. kind of like... To bring that you know air of horror and stuff and so it's definitely very obvious there uh mm. well done for sure like they, they you know they do really cool shots and cool kind of scares and <clears throat> tones and stuff like that but oh yeah it um it's de it definitely kind of like just puts a little bit of perspective on why it feels like the show's dynamic has changed a bit and yeah 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 well we'll see like i said like, it was kind of like, oh, man, 11 episodes. And then when I started watching them, I was just like, fuck, yeah, let's have a great time. Right. You know, and it's, it's just funny to me because the the police chief, I keep wanting to call her Hannah, but that's not her name. Oh, yes. Because she is Hannah, the uh, librarian or the historian on Nancy Drew. Oh. And it took me so long to figure out. <laughs> But she made her exit from that show, and that's when I finally put two and two together. Mm. I was like, oh my god, she's leaving Nancy Drew to be more prominent on The Flash. Because yeah. coincidentally, her time when she, like, you know, when she left, or she disappeared. Like, this girl straight up disappears and no one looks for her for a couple of weeks, which, shame on you, Nancy Drew. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, be nice to your friends. <laughs> You know, but of course, and th but at that point, she was getting a lot more on the flash. So mm, okay. what a coinky dink, <laughs> coinky dink, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one th well, two things I'll say. <laughs> First one is uh, about um, Reverse Flash's appearance in the crossover of the season. Mm -hmm. His suit upgrade is atrocious. Please go back to the original suit. I just it was not. I don't know. Like it's just not a good looking style on him and it just yeah it looked very weird and very like like morph suit kind of looking and it was just very mm. yeah <laughs> so I, i'm not a fan of his new suit a lot of people aren't it seems like oh, but, okay yeah interesting that kind of just was weird to me but then the other <laughs> thing was um um i <laughs> my my like kind of I guess nitpick about like the mm -hmm. killer frost episode was that it took them up until the kind of end credit scene of the show for like, I, I, cause yeah, you'll probably remember like where like they had the whole bit, you know, she dies and everything. And it's yeah. not until then that uh, Mark or chill Blaine has his moment of being like, we have all these plans and this is what we're going to do. And it's like, really, we're, we're choosing now to do this. Like what more obvious way of like trying to like pull on the emotions of people before they have to walk in the room and be like, Oh, she's dead. Like why could like, you know, I don't know. That was my nitpick. I was like, why surprise motherfucker. <laughs> why, why couldn't we have done this more throughout the episode? Right. Nah. Yeah. Nah. It just it just made made me feel like and I don't know maybe he is but it just it made me feel like his character was just kind of expendable in that way. They were like, "Oh yeah. Mm. He's probably like we're not going to see him after this kind of thing, right? Like this is his last appearance." Maybe, but I was also hoping/wondering slash if, you know, if Frost now is gone cuz they also just dropped the bomb. Oh yeah, buries the Flash. You know, mm -hmm. that maybe he might actually 
because he's supposedly turning over a new leaf, you know, that maybe he will be now the prominent Frost bitch on the uh, set, potentially, and part of Team Flash. Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's I a wouldn't point. be against, but I, I no. just remember his first appearance, and I was like, homeboy is evil. <laughs> you are you're like a saucy little minx you are truly evil <laughs> like date this millisecond i saw him i was like oh that man is pure evil <laughs> pretty boy evil oh yeah if you're that pretty you're clearly fucking evil. <laughs> <laughs> you are so so evil oh boy it is undeniable <laughs> i also was trying to remember because uh going back a little bit to armageddon um you know, they had Mia come back, which they didn't really explain. She's like, I just went through a time thing anomaly. I was like, you could do that? Yeah. We can do that now? Awesome. Guys, what, we, what the fuck's going Can we do that now, guys? Is that, what the fuck's going You know, but she obviously brings back the fact that William got abducted, which was the um, episode eight, I think, of the last finale of Arrow season. Mm-hmm. But that was more so, I think, obviously, to... Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I think that was just more so um, as a tester pilot for the mm-hmm. Canaries. Yeah. Um, but it, it just seems kind of weird that they're trying to... Because they didn't really wrap that up or give that closure. They were just like, oh, hey, or, you can continue on your adventure which, I mean, on one hand, I get, mm-hmm. but also just feels slightly cruel. Mm-hmm. Again, just because last week we were talking about all this, like, shows not getting conclusions, you know? Yeah. Like, it makes, like, I under, like the motivation makes sense in the um, in the scene, but... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, but then to be like, oh, hey, here's some information. You can keep hunting William. I mean, yeah, it was just kind of weird. Cause it's, yeah. I mean, I guess we, the bottom line just made me sad because I was like, I wanted that show to happen. How dare you just flaunt that in my face? Yeah. I was also a little confused, but I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, Damien Dark, always love to see him. Mm-hmm. But like him and Nora came back, which was weird to mm-hmm. me. I didn't quite get that. Yeah. <laughs> but, meh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, you never... We, we can speculate until we're blue in the face. You never really know, like, what was going on in the minds of the writers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, know. you haven't caught up on Legends yet? I am but... slowly, <laughs> slowly doing that. I watched about seven episodes uh, last damn. weekend. So I'm, I'm slowly Where are you at now? Along. I Where are you at just now? watched the Tell episode... Me. Um... I'm on season two. The first um, mm-hmm. first episode is them in the Victorian era, and then mm-hmm. I saw the oh, damn it. I think it's the Jonah Hex one, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Okay, so you're still in season two. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, it just seems weird to me because like Nora and Damien Dark had their closure on Legends. Mm-hmm. So it's weird to me that they're bringing them back. But again, it seemed like the purpose of that was so Damien could give Joe the time stone because now he has that. Yeah. And I'm going to, st- I'll be completely honest. I was like, what the fuck is the time stone? <laughs> right? Like, the, like, are we talking about like Doctor Strange time stone or like. Right? Like, I was just like, I was like, am I that checked out these days? I'm like, I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah. I'm like, what is the time? What? But right? what's happening? Well, and too, like I was saying, like because this this guy has been drawing so much on the comics, like is this things mm-hmm. that people who are readers of the comics are understanding? And now, like, like maybe are we, are we kind of moving into that um, realm now, where the show's la- like starting to become more like, oh, you need to. I don't want to say this to sound like make it sound rude, but like kind of like in the in rude. some of the Marvel movies too, where it's like they've got they've got the half of it for just the people who enjoy the movies and then we got the bits that are good for like the comic fans and stuff like that mm-hmm. so are we kind of moving more into that realm of the show which seems kind of weird to do now but yeah yeah i don't know i guess with a new showrunner he's trying on some new shit i guess yeah 
But yeah, it, it, you would think it'd be a touch too late mm-hmm. on the foot. But you know what? Whatever. Give him some time to create. Hmm, whatever you want to do, my guy. But I guess so on lovely. to some like some like more exciting news. Mm. Uh, Katie Lotz just got engaged. She did. So that was pretty cool. In Morocco? In Morocco, it looked like, yeah. God damn. I barely leave my house. I'm like, what's I'm like, Morocco? That's crazy. <laughs> right? So congrats That's to crazy. Katie Lotz. That's exciting. Round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> Although that did remind me that she directed an episode on the flash. She did. So I think this week is episode fourteen. As of recording this episode, I think. Yes. I think that's when I watched was 13. So she's direct. she directed 16. So it's coming up. Mm, nice. I was worried I'd already missed it, but no, it's coming up yeah, soon. It's so coming up. And Danielle has also directed another episode as well, which should be following hers. I don't know if it's exactly after hers, but it's like mm. later on in the season too. Yeah. So that'll be exciting to see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remind me, I have to send you something. I got sent this from one of my friends. It was a TikTok from Batman. Uh-huh. And it was showing how just like the Mandalorian was shot in that um dome thing. Mm-hmm. They did something very similar for Batman. Oh, really? Yeah. And the guys were talking about like how much like they were like, yeah, it's great. Um, Because you obviously have so much more control of your surroundings. And if you have to do sunset shots or shots like that, the, the guy was, I think it was the DOP talking about like how much easier it is now. So instead of trying to actually shoot at golden hour and get two slightly different colored shots, mm-hmm. it's now all the same. Because it's wow. like the same point. Yeah, you have to send me that. That sounds interesting. Was, I want to see it. It was trippy to see. I was like, oh my god. Because like, I think one of the scenes they were showing off was um, the one where was on the rooftop mm-hmm. with the commissioner. I was like, yeah. what? That was all screens? I was like, that's it. Tap out. I'm. <laughs> what is real? <laughs> right? That's I don't know if it's this... I'm I'm assuming it's very similar technology to the Mandalorian's dome thingy, mm-hmm. but I know, um, even um, they said they used a video game engine to do the surroundings. Cool. I don't know if it's the same for this one. I assume it's got to be fairly similar. Yeah, I do not know, but yeah, I'll send you that TikTok. Yes. Oh, all right, cinema peeps. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think that'll do it for today's episode. My voice is sounding less and less sexy. <laughs> so um, just imagine I'm one of those really cool caller girls. And I'm like, hey, do you want to have more content? Please subscribe to the channel. Um, <laughs> give this video a like and um, leave your comments down below. Are you guys enjoying The Flash right now? Um, I I think that's all we... Right, we talked about... It's just Flash. <laughs> just <laughs> just a Flash <laughs> focused episode this week. Right. I'll promise we'll talk about other things, maybe when I'm less groggy and dead. But um yeah, we appreciate you watching and we hope you come back next Tuesday. But yeah. until then, watch all the content and we'll see ya next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Monkey monkey monkey.